Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. I choose empathy. Written by Elizabeth Estrada Have you ever seen someone unhappy, looking a little sad? And even though you don't know what's going on, you feel bad? Have you ever seen someone crying and wanted to cry too? Listening and comforting them was all that you could do. Well, this feeling of wanting to help has a special name. And once you have it in you, you will never be the same. It's called empathy, which means you care how others feel. Having compassion and showing kindness is more than ideal. Being able to feel empathy and care deeply for those you know is a pure sign of humanity and it helps us to grow. Having empathy is not only for sadness or when people are feeling blue. It can also be for happiness or excitement too. You can be empathetic and feel happy for others' joy. You can feel positive on a friend's birthday when they get a brand new toy or when they win a carnival game after playing hard and trying. No, empathy doesn't only set in when another person is crying. When someone's feeling angry and steaming, full of rage, if you have empathy, you'll feel as if you're on the same page. They may yell and be in an angry zone, but when you listen, they won't feel so alone. Some say having empathy is a very special gift. It's like during a rain shower and you see that rainbows do exist. Empathy means we are kind to others and understand. When people receive empathy, they are more willing to lend a hand. I say having empathy can also be a choice. You can choose to be empathetic by using your voice. Tell others you understand them when they're feeling a certain way. And be compassionate and caring every single day. Be authentic and kind in everything you do. Give to others as much as you would hope they would give to you. When you see someone having a tough time, don't put more on their backs. If someone else is hungry, share with them your snacks. When someone's feeling happy, celebrate with them if you can. Or when someone's feeling scared, go ahead and reach out your hand. Being empathetic is saying and showing that you care. If that person needs you, you'll always be right there. So, the next time you find yourself with someone whose feelings are on display, sit next to them, pat their back, and tell them it's going to be okay. And you know what? They probably will do this for someone else too. Empathy is contagious. I've seen it spread through and through. Soon, everywhere you look, people will be treating others in a positive way. And together, we'll be there for one another every single day. Choose empathy when you can and keep it in your mind. For an empathetic person, it's truly a wonderful kind. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one! Bye!